A line has equation y equals 3kx minus 2k, and a curve has equation y equals x squared minus kx plus 2, where k is a constant. 1. Find the set of values of k for which the line and the curve meet at two distinct points. So the requirement is the line and the curve will meet at two distinct points. That means that when you solve for the point of intersection between the line and the curve, you should get two answers. So when you solve y equals y, there should be two answers. So y equals y in this case, or solving for the points of intersection between the line and the curve, is the same as solving for 3kx minus 2k equals x squared minus kx plus 2, where there should be two solutions for this. So if you move everything to one side and try to solve it, we get 0 equals x squared minus 4kx plus 2 plus 2k, which is a quadratic. And we know a lot about quadratics. So for a quadratic, if the discriminant is bigger than 0, then there are two solutions or there are two roots. So the requirement for this quadratic to have two solutions is that b squared minus 4ac must be bigger than 0. So if we use the requirement b squared minus 4ac is bigger than 0, for this quadratic, a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4k, and c is equal to 2 plus 2k. We can substitute it into b squared minus 4ac to get minus 4k to the power of 2 minus 4 times 1 times 2 plus 2k, and that simplifies to 16k squared minus 8k minus 8, and all those terms can be divided by 8. So it's easier to work with smaller numbers, so I'm going to divide all the terms by 8 to get 2k squared minus k minus 1 is bigger than 0. So to solve this inequality, it's a quadratic because we have k squared, so you can factorize that into 2k plus 1 and k minus 1. So when you're solving a quadratic inequality, you need to think about the graph of the quadratic. Think about the graph of y equals 2x squared minus x minus 1. If you factorize it, you get 2x plus 1 and x minus 1. Therefore, it will cross the x-axis at minus 1 over 2 and 1. And the coefficient is positive, so it's going to open upwards like that. So the graph roughly looks like that. So the requirement is that it's more than zero. So if it's more than zero, we're looking for the region on the graph where it's above the x-axis. And it's above the x-axis over here and over here beside on the left-hand side and the right-hand side. And the x-coordinates corresponding to those areas on the graph are over here on the left. And it will continue on the left forever because for a quadratic, it will just continue going upwards and also on the right, and it will continue on the right forever as well because for a quadratic, it will just continue to go upwards on that side as well. Therefore, the corresponding x-coordinates are to the side of it over here and over here. So the x-coordinates would be x is less than minus 1 over 2 and x is bigger than 1. Therefore, k must be less than minus 1 over 2 and k is bigger than 1 which is the answer. However, if you don't like drawing graphs, you can also work out the quadratic inequality from drawing a number line. After factorizing the quadratic in the inequality, you know for sure that it must be some form of minus one over two and one. So if we draw a number line and we put minus one over two and one there, we can substitute values into the function, which is the same as 2k squared minus k minus 1. So if we let fx equals 2x squared minus x minus 1, we can try substituting in random values in the region. So try the region. The first region is the region where it's less than minus 1 over 2. 
So a random number less than minus 1 over 2 is minus 1. So if you substitute x with minus 1 into the function, that gives 2, which is a positive number. So we know for sure that this region for the graph must be positive. So therefore, 2k squared minus k minus 1 is bigger than 0 for this region or the region corresponding to less than minus 1 over 2. We can do the same for the middle region. So we pick a number that is between minus 1 over 2 and 1. So that's 0, for example. So if you put 0 in the function f, that equals minus 1. So it's negative in this region. Therefore, 2k squared minus k minus 1 less than z is less than 0 for this region. And if we do the same for the last region, so the last region corresponds to bigger than 1. So we need to pick a number that is bigger than 1. So 2, for example. So if we substitute 2 into the function, we get 5. So that means that the region for the region where k is bigger than 1, the equation or the expression will be positive. Therefore, 2k squared minus k minus 1 is bigger than 0 for this region. And we are looking for the region where 2k squared minus k minus 1 is bigger than 0. So it corresponds to these two regions which is k is less than minus 1 over 2 and k is bigger than 1. Two, for each of two particular values of k, the line is a tangent to the curve. Show that these two tangents meet on the x-axis. So from the first part of the question, we have k equals minus a half and k equals 1 and the equation of the tangents are in the format y equals 3kx minus 2k. So first, let's find the equations of the two tangents corresponding to those values of k. So for the first one, k equals 1, we just need to substitute k equals 1 into the equation y equals 3kx minus 2k. So if we do that, we get y equals 3x minus 2, we can do the same for k equals minus a half. So substitute k with minus a half in the equation y equals 3kx minus 2k. And we get y equals minus 3 over 2x plus 1. The question wants us to show that these two tangents meet on the x-axis. Basically, we need to show that these two straight lines will intersect on the x-axis. So show that the point of intersection is on the x-axis. And we can do that by solving for the points of intersection between these two lines. So when we solve for the point of intersection, the requirement is that the x equals the x or the y equals the y. We will use y equals y to solve for the intersection. So when y equals y, that's 3x minus 2 equals minus 3 over 2x plus 1. And then we can solve for x, which will give us the x-coordinate of the point of intersection. After solving for x, we will get x equals 2 over 3. So for x equals 2 over 3, this is the x-coordinate of the point of intersection. We still need to find the y-coordinate of the point of intersection. And to do that, we just need to substitute x equals 2 over 3 in one of the equations of the straight lines. So if we do that and substitute it into y equals minus 3 over 2x plus 1, so that will give y equals 0, which corresponds to the x-axis. The line y equals 0 is the x-axis. So the point of intersection is at the point 2 over 3, 0, which is on the x-axis. And there we've proven that it crosses on the x-axis.